we have a wonderful opportunity. I didn't even realize this was here, Christy. They've got this big playland for all these Massey subcompact tractors. I think there's four of them out here. We're going to start out with the grapple tractor. This is a 1723E, that's the economy version. Maybe a couple less horsepower than the 1725M, which is the more luxurious version. We're going to get started with this grapple. It's got the third function on it, should be just like mine. Hopefully this will be easy. Let's give it a try. I'm going to put my Isotunes Audio earphones in. Make sure to get yours at isotunesaudio.com. You get a $10 discount on every pair. You use coupon code TTWT. First thing I noticed is it idles slower than the deer model. It idles at about 3-point hitch lever and it hits my leg no matter what I do it, it, it hits my leg I if I if, you know because of the between the steering wheel and the three-point hitch lever there's there's very difficult ergonomics there are no armrests on the seats I think that's because it's the E model the hydraulics seem to work fine um, I would say that on this particular tractor they've got the grapple closing and opening hooked up to the uh, vertical the up and down and I would like to have it to the lift and curl I'm pretty sure you could do that just by changing the plumbing, but it, it's kind of backwards to me. The turning radius, I, I couldn't tell too much, but it didn't feel like a really tight turning radius. That's just anecdotal. We might get a better chance on another tractor, I'll tell you that. The noise level, um, it doesn't have the mower on it, so it's not a good uh, comparison. But with my same application, it was about 92, 93 dB. This is Glenn, Herminator on green, GreenTractorTalk.com, right? Yes, sir. Try out this red one. Okay. See what you think.
Okay, Glenn, you've you've got a 2038 R John Deere, so a bigger tractor than this. And you actually don't have a loader on your tractor. So this is not necessarily apples to apples to what you've got. But what do you think? The hydraulics are smooth, and that's the first time I've run it. Um, so just getting used to the grapple and the button for that. But um, it's a nice little tractor, smooth run it. I'm yeah. watching one with a backhoe. It's super smooth as well. Yeah, I've had a little experience on that backhoe. It's nice. Yeah, it, uh, the hydraulics on this, they're quicker than I thought they would be. When I go to drop it, it drops. Right yeah. Now, which surprised me. Um, ergonomically, I like the deer better. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can try another one. This is the, still the E tractor, right? Yes. Can I have a little more throttle? Or is that not allowed? Tobacco works really smooth. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, you know, I'm not the world's best operator, so, uh, but, but the machine is fine. I can even run it at a little bit higher throttle than what I might run if I were trying to do some detail work, but uh, it works really nicely. Now, this is not real hard soil because it's been worked with for two days by other operators, so, you know, maybe I could go ahead and dig down and see if I could get even deeper than they did. I don't know. But, now there's a lot of similarities with this one and the backhoes that you've seen me operate on our channel. It, it feels largely the same. Uh, the, the controls are the same. They Really the flow rate feels very similar. I don't, I don't sense a lot of difference. Very impressed. I really don't have much to say because it worked just like I asked it to. It, it does a great job. I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be happy with this little backhoe. It's just as good or better uh, than any subcompact backhoe I've ever tried. Well, I can tell that Glenn's just as comfortable with it as I was. What, what did you think of the backhoe? It was yeah. fun. There, we've got a Ford 655, so this is a 70 horse big industrial backhoe. Oh my goodness. That would dig a deep enough hole to bury that thing. Yes. but. I'm always impressed with guys do with these little backhoes. I, when I see them, I think, oh, that, but I see what people do with them and running it, it's smooth. Yeah. Again, it's smooth like the hydraulics on the other one. Yeah. Um, first time out, it's a little rough. Well, if of you course. had me go again, it'd be three times as fast. It's Absolutely. That intuitive. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I noticed the same thing. The, the, the backhoe hydraulics were smooth, the loader hydraulics were smooth. Yeah. And it's just getting used to it. And it's ergonomics. That's yeah. if there's any challenge on this particular tractor for me, it's ergonomics. Yeah. Yeah, but on the backhoe, I, ergonomically, I could run that all day. Yeah, I agree with you. Maybe yeah. On that part of it. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to try another one.
great test opportunity with the front end loader, uh, with the land plane, rocks, sand. <laughs> Again, two thumbs up on this little demo. It doesn't even take up much space. Incredible opportunity for us to get used to this tractor. So what did I notice? The tractor is incredibly capable. I mean, a lot of these subcompact tractors are going to function nearly the same, uh, nearly the same capabilities, and I and I kind of felt that here. I'm still having a little issue with the three-point hitch lever down by my leg. Um, that would be nice if it could be moved up here just a little bit, uh, better location for me. In fact, if we could trade positions with it and the gear shift would even help. As you know, I'm a loader guy. I really like back dragging with the loader. That works great. This loader may be a little less capacity than what I'm used to on Johnny, maybe about the same. Certainly more loader capacity than the, than the BX. Two functions at the same time. Good example of me, me attempting that. I could do it. I found it very touchy, just like all subcompact tractors. Not a lot of difference between it and some of the rest. Maybe a little bit easier on the deer. Nice tractor. Okay, Glenn. Okay, what do you think, Glenn? I like it, it's fun. I was impressed. I do not have a loader on my compact, I have a skid loader. Yeah. I was impressed when I pushed into the sand pile that it'll push that bucket full. Yeah, And it, it had will. no problem doing it, it had no problem with power. Uh, when I had that bucket full of sand, it was not unstable, it didn't feel tippy, it just picked it up, did what I thought it ought now, to do. Now hold it, you didn't come here today to buy a subcompact tractor. I did not. But you may go home with one anyway. No. <laughs> no, 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 I can't go home if I do. Oh, you next room? go somewhere else. Well, you know, we, we, we take refugees. <laughs> I would be a refugee, <laughs> but you'd have a refugee with a damn nice tractor. <laughs> hey, this has been a lot of fun, Glenn. It has been fun. This is a lot of fun. This is great. Just everything you can do here and try out, I yeah. had a good time with it. This demo area is, is absolutely fabulous. Yeah. They're, they're obviously confident in their equipment or they wouldn't put it out here where it could really be used. Yeah. And, and it, it means a lot. I, I've not run a little backhoe. I've not run a little compact. I've run farm tractors with loaders, skid loaders with loaders. I, I can tell in three minutes this is more capable than I ever thought it would be. You know, I heard you just 10 minutes ago saying that one of these loaders wouldn't do much. No, I know. I know. And I'm used to a skid loader. And I got to tell you. No one's, no one, neither of us are, are saying that it will do the work of a skid loader. Neither not. of us are saying. But. At the price point of this item, it will do the work of a skid loader slower. Yeah, slow. That's the only and realize you got a loader and you got a tractor in this much area. Skid loader takes up more area than this right beside it. So you got one yeah. more thing to maintain, one more thing to do, and a bigger payment to make. Yes. Special thanks to Massey Ferguson Agco for allowing us to taken some time in their booth here. That was really special. And Glenn, thank you for joining us. Herminator on GreenTractorTalk.com. This has been good. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. All right, you see that bolt down there? I see it. I tied it to the bucket. Yep. So that's why it came to me in the middle of the night. Take the bottom portion of that bolt, put it in the hole in that cone. Once you do that, 
go over here and put the football in the bucket. Don't let okay. the football hit the ground. Okay. Came over. Okay. Once you do that, come back to the red mask logo. You got to touch that logo. That's going to stop your time. Okay. Two, one, go! Goes. Fastest time of the day is 56 seconds. 56. World record is 33.86 seconds. So we'll have plenty of time in between. If you happen to get the fast time of the day, you're going to win a gold and silver custom belt buckle. A glorious hat just for time. Look, I just want to get it done. I don't care about the time. I can't hear you, Tim. There's a giant speaker here. I just want to get it done. I don't care about the oh, time. Oh, you're right there. Not forward. Oh! oh! Bring it up nice and easy. You're right there. How's it there? You got to play the win. I'm trying. Be close. Help me. Try to help you. Left hand forward. Get in there. Boom. Right there. All right, now the trick this one is get it in the bucket. Don't let it hit the ground. The biggest piece of advice I give you is remember gravity is your friend and your enemy. Let's say 60% odds he's going to get it. Uh, that might have just gone down. And uh, now it's 0% odds. Oh, well. Alright, you see how we did it? It ain't as easy as it looks. Faster and faster. <laughs> a little bit forward and then down. A lot of it's in the control. Some of the controls are real smooth. There you go. He's got Stand it. Stand forward, drain it. Put it in the hole. Boom! Alright, halfway there. You're only 34 seconds. And oh! Held it a long way. Well, he's over a minute, so you wouldn't quite had it, but darn close. 